Give it a test first. No, I'm full cool Give it a test. Whoa. Whoa. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Gun Squad headquarters. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we did a bunch of land clearing on the bottom section of that hill over there. We got a lot of it cleaned up, but we still got a good bit more to go, which we're super excited to actually get it all cleaned up because we got some pretty awesome ideas of what we want to do there. And also you seen previously where we did some camping in the military truck and the Jeep, which that was just an awesome experience on its own. We're definitely going to do more of that. And we were going to continue doing some more land clearing, but we actually timed out our Kubota at 51 hours. So it's technically ready for its very first full service. And that's exactly what we're going to get started with. We're actually going to load this sucker up on the trailer, take it to the Kubota dealership, get it serviced, and then head back up the mountain. Alrighty guys, so we made it here to the Kubota of Chattanooga and we just dropped off our machine, which is gonna be ready, what, in the morning? Yeah, we'll pick it up in the morning. They're gonna go ahead and fully service it and they're gonna give it a wash, which just is awesome. You know, it definitely needed it. <laughs> For sure, man, we put that to work, but they said they've seen worse, dude. Oh yeah, definitely, man. It looks like we didn't even work on it, Dude, man. they've actually had people come in here with 70 hours. Can you believe yeah, that? Yeah, 70 and 60 hours. You can go over that much. I mean, it's not a big deal. It's just a couple hours more. Yeah, it's not gonna ruin the machine, but might as well go ahead and service it since we're kind of close in the area. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We want to just go ahead and keep working with it. So we just go ahead, just drop it off, let them fully do it. But I know? mean, we kind of do put it to work with that mulcher. That mulcher yeah. is pretty, like kind of some heavy strain on the machine. Yeah, definitely a lot of heavy strain. We have to grease it up all the time. And it's it's putting some wear and tear on that machine. You know, not like crazy wear and tear, like the good stuff, what that machine is built for, you know? Dude, for sure. But dude, look at this. Excavators, man. Dude, we I got say, a skid dude, steer. We got a skid steer. Bunch of attachments can we, fit on that. We do which, got an excavator as well, but it's our brother's and yeah. it's not the enclosed unit it's not the enclosed and it's a little bit smaller one and we can't really use it all the time because he uses it for construction and we're just out here looking for something something that can pick up some bigger rocks or some bigger Dude, trees go man. ahead and hop in this one right here this Dude. one's got the metal tracks on it this is super heavy duty this is probably about a hundred and twenty thousand dollar machine here yeah, it's like a hundred thousand dollar machine it's a kx80 it's the biggest machine they offer right here fully enclosed i mean dude, check this thing out man. oh my goodness dude, dude imagine having one of these whenever we're picking up rocks and stuff like that dude this is epic but i don't know if we need something this huge we'd probably want something a little bit smaller because we're gonna be like getting into tight spaces by the house or whatnot hey go big or go home you dude. know what i mean honestly i don't even know if we'd uh, need an excavator that much dude but who knows man i'd just like to have one dude, dude. i just like heavy heavy equipment know, we definitely man. finance it though like, oh dude like we did our skid steer man we can't afford that dude, <laughs> we can't these, afford to pay it out right expensive man i gotta say but you know what they're worth it because you get what you pay for it's an investment dude plus you build your credit like we're doing we're building our credit and also you know finance you can make, it, and you can make money off these you can completely start your own business with just one of these exactly say you're paying 1500 bucks a month you can do work and make like six thousand dollars a month dude so. you can make a job in a week and make six thousand dollars i'm telling so. you there's profit to be made in if these you machines. guys are out there <laughs> wanting to like do your own jobs and stuff out there this invest in one of these you know dude we could just awesome. start a dang forestry business. Hey, we right? can literally start a bush hogging business, a land clearing business. But you know what? We're not into that. We're right now busy with our properties and some builds coming up. Some stuff epic like, stuff coming up here soon. Anyways, I guess let's just go ahead and head back up the mountain and get straight to work. Do it.
guys, so we are back up the mountain here and the very first thing that we wanna work on is trying to fix our broken well because the other day while we were watering our grass, it just completely stopped working, no water at all whatsoever. So hopefully our well did not run dry because that's an extra $30,000 out of pocket to dig a new well, which that's pretty scary. So fingers crossed, we can actually fix this with a brand new pump controller right here. We actually had our well guy come out here and drop this sucker off over the weekend. So what we're gonna do is actually swap it out with our old one here, which is over 10 years old and it's been exposed to the weather. So as you can tell, it's a little bit rusty. So I believe this is the issue. Who knows though, because it does have an arrow code light right there. And if it blinks twice, it means that this sucker is actually no water, which is really scary because dude. that's gonna be an expensive one right there. That could dude. be a down payment for a brand new excavator, man. I know, right? So right now my heart is pounding. Hope Hopefully this fixes our issue. So let's just go ahead and swap this sucker out with a new one and see if we got water. Go see if we got water. Now. Dude, that's a good Oh, heck yeah. Dude, that's what I'm talking about right there, dude. Dude, that is awesome. That is a huge relief right there. Dude. Heck yeah, now we can keep on working. And also, you know, you got to have water when you're burning fires or whatever, just yes. in case. Yeah, just for emergencies. Because if we did buy a fire extinguisher the other day, that's because our well stopped working that day, which it was kind of sketchy, but now we can go ahead and water. Might as well go ahead and connect it and water our grass dude, while we're at connect it. it. I'm guessing this sucker just burnt up. I mean, it is 10 years old. Like, that's and an was, antique right there. Yeah, dude. and it was outside for a couple of years. And these things should be inside, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, and you know? the crazy thing is, I think we could probably sell it to a museum. Hey, Make who money. knows, man? This thing, we can use it for parts just in case <laughs> this one breaks. But it's good to have a new one in here, you know? Exactly. And I can't wait till he sets up the rest of the whole entire well house, which yeah. is really soon. Hopefully this week, which, fingers crossed, it comes out here this week it'll be an awesome process to even see how that's all set up you know with the all the like gallons and stuff and we're gonna learn how all that stuff cleans our water dude exactly a bunch of cool gadgets but anyways let's uh let's hook up the water water the grass and move on to the next time let's do it Careful, don't, don't give it a test first. No, I'm full Give it a test. Whoa! Whoa. Watch oh. out! Dude! I'm glad that thing didn't break. I heard a little snap, crackle, pop at the that end right like there. That was like 20 feet over the road. That, that was, way, dude. dude. I was looking now, I was like, my ankles are about to be gone, dude. I don't want to do it. Dude, try it. It's just sketchy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Dang. Dude, that was sketchy, and plus I started spinning today. That was just like the recipe for disaster right Dude, there, it's man. it's fun, though. I gotta say, it that does give fun. you a little bit of adrenaline. Dude, it does. You need that every once in a while, you know, just to know that you're a human being. Know, you gotta get man. hurt. You gotta feel the pain sometimes. <laughs> man, that's a perfect swing. We're gonna have to leave that sucker up there, dude. Exactly. Yeah, we're gonna probably get a zip line out here as well, like we wanted to earlier. But... Yeah, we were looking at a few. We were looking at a thousand foot one. I wonder how long that is we have to probably measure it out before we order one thousand foot i believe is a thousand feet yeah well i don't know how like how long that actually is like just like looking at it you know what i exactly. mean exactly yeah we're definitely gonna have to find like two perfect trees do a nice setup we already found like some uh kits yep. that we want to set up we're gonna buy one of those set it up but this is what we started with doing we want to clean out this whole entire section right here we're gonna try to just use our hands chainsaws just whatever we can rakes machetes and stuff like that exactly rakes and do a nice little cleanup right here it shouldn't take too long once we get this all knocked out, we're gonna move on to the next thing. So let's go ahead, get it looking good.
right, so check this out, guys. We ended up bringing out our whole entire arsenal. We got the chainsaws, the weed whacker with the bush hogger attachment, the machete, the grinder, which we use to sharpen everything up. We got this whole entire section nice and clean. It may need to be ran over with the lawnmower. What do you think about that? Yeah, definitely, because there is a ton of leaves on the ground, and we're planning on uh, seeding this whole entire area. That Dude. way we can have some nice, luscious grass, and I don't believe it will grow if there's a lot of leaves, right? That is true. We're probably going to have to bring out the viper out here and use it as a leaf, leaf blower. blower. <laughs> and leaf blow or just bring out an actual leaf blower out here and just clean all these leaves to the side or something. I believe our zero turn can probably do that, you know, blow them all too. to the side. Exactly, but yeah, nice grass throughout this whole entire side matching up with that steep hill over there would be just on point i was thinking about like doing a bunch of plants and mulch but dude that'll take up a lot of time it would look beautiful and pretty and all that good stuff but you know what we're just gonna sow some grass for now and i think that'll do the trick but we got pops out here he's gonna probably take care of the rest we're gonna move on to some other things we're actually gonna focus on the house right yeah because we got some big plans we actually got some hardy coming in here real soon exactly. and we're gonna be changing that plastic siding to some hardy because we're ready to paint this house, dude, dude. We are ready to paint. I think we are going to go with the white. I know some of you guys didn't like it, but we did like pull up a rendering on Instagram and it looks super good. Oh, yeah, dude. White. It's called whitewash, so it's not just going to be like solid white. I think it's going to be like a little grainy and grayish, whitish. Oh, yeah, but color. the hardy, I believe, will be solid white, but just the oh, stone yeah. we're looking at doing some whitewash on it, which it'll just look super good. Dude, white and black is going to be on point, but we're probably going to start with one side, start ripping off all the vinyl siding because that's just super old school. It gets real filthy and dirty real quick or over the years or whatever. So I guess we're going to start with that side towards the woods that way, right? And yeah. Ripping it apart. Let's do it, man. Let's go. A quick change of plans, guys. We actually just got off the phone with our contractor. And he told us not to start with this side right here because we totally forgot that we are going to be attaching our garage to this house. And that does kind of sound weird, but you know what? There's some codes and regulations in the city limits that require you to do that when your garage is going to be much larger than the house, which we're definitely going to have to have a huge garage. If it was smaller, we wouldn't have to do that, but there's really no point in doing this hardy because when they're going to be framing it into the house, they're going to be messing with all that stuff there. But what we're going to do instead is actually focus on this rear section here where we actually already got started and that side over there. And also we went over all the stuff that we're going to need, all the materials. There's like some weird stuff like Murtex, Simplank, a hardy gun some weird words dude hey and we're gonna do this all ourselves uh, i know he said that we can actually just get the guys out here to knock it out really quick but you know what we like learning new things and we like working on the house ourselves dude, honestly we do. i think i think we'll figure this out we're definitely gonna watch a couple more videos but i think we're gonna get it for the most part i mean dude. you know how it goes once you get one wall down dude the rest is gonna be easy dude, dude. it's gonna be a breeze so i guess let's just go ahead start ripping apart this rear end here and then we'll go from there All right, so it is the next day here, guys. And instead of actually picking up our skid steer early this morning, we're gonna actually have to pick it up a little bit later because it's not gonna be ready till around lunchtime. So we decided to actually grab a few other things with us from the original Goon Squad garage. We're gonna bring with us two leaf blowers. We got one in the bed of the F450 there and we're bringing the Viper up there with us. This is just gonna be absolutely epic because it's got two exhausts. It's gonna clean up that driveway just perfectly. Hey. Just 
basically like three that. leaf blowers, dude, because two leaf dude. blowers on the side of this thing and one Husqvarna in the dude. back, dude. You know, we've been calling this a leaf blower for the longest, but now we're actually going to put this sucker to the test. It's almost like this was meant to be, dude. Hey, and it's orange in color, just like the rest of our equipment, the dude. Kubota, That's crazy. The the Husqvarnas, the Echoes. Hey, what? the Can-Am. We're just going to have to paint that zero turn. The zero turn needs to get painted, but yeah, we grabbed the, the Can-Am with us just because we had a little bit of extra room, and you know, it's always good to have that up there if you got to run down the mountain, up the mountain, grab some stuff. Maybe do some crawling. Who knows, maybe man? Maybe some crawling. Maybe build a big old jump. Who knows? Dude. But, dude, I'm just super excited to have this up there mainly. So I guess let's just go ahead, fire this sucker up, and just head up the mountain. goodness dude it did works we did we clean out the driveway dude Dude, that was awesome it actually looks super sick on video as well dude man that was just legit pulling through here kind of sketchy felt it scrape the bottom a little bit but you know what that driveway is actually pretty dang smooth man it is pretty smooth this is probably the lowest car we got yeah, wouldn't you say yeah definitely the lowest car we got especially that front end man it just looks like a shovel but dude it cleared everything so dude. we're good on that we're, skid steer work <laughs> exactly yeah the skid steer work was on point but we were thinking about throwing a lip on this thing Dude, we yeah. would have never pulled in here with the lip in it. Maybe after we get it paved, then we'll be able to do that. You paved, know? concrete, whatever we're going to do there. But, dude, this thing is, this is the very first time the Viper TA is out here at the new Goon Squad headquarters. Here soon, she's just going to be doing donuts. Dude, just donuts around in a circle right here, man. This thing is just an absolute beast driving. Now, I just say it all the time because it really is. It's dude. just an incredible car, dude. Animal. I don't know. I don't know if we will ever be able to get rid of this car right here. There's only 93 of these, by the way, too. Oh, yeah, so, dude. And Remember when we dropped those 93 Viper hoodies. Oh Ooh. my goodness. Uh, those were sick. Dude. Those are sick, dude. I think I got one of them. Man. Yeah, I got one of them <laughs> too, man. Those, those are a masterpiece, man. Exactly. Uh, some of y'all may have them, dude. Who knows, what? dude? Those were like one of a kind. We only dropped 93 of them too. Yeah, that's exactly what we did. That was, that was very unique. But anyways, the Viper is not practical enough to actually do the leaf blowing, but we did get a leaf blower in the back of the truck right there, yeah, right? we got a leaf blower in the back, and then we're probably going to drive over some of these leaves with the skid steer, kind of just blow them off towards that road over there, and then we should be good. Alrighty guys, so we just did some leaf blowing, cleaned up the drive, it looks super clean over there, and then we jumped into the Can-Am, and where are we at now, Dude, man? we're at, at the bottom uh, half of our property, the very bottom where the second road actually just keeps going, which we're just going to keep clearing it out as far as we can possibly go, that way we can have more trail riding, but right now... Uh, we're just doing some off-roading, basically, crawling, rock dude. crawling. So we have this amazing uh, setup of rocks right here on our property, and this is just the 
perfect opportunity to make some rock crawling courses some trails that go up to the top of the mountain dude dude all we got to do is get the mulcher out here or the skid steer and just chop some trees out or, or chainsaw yeah or we just strap a chainsaw to the back of this thing because there's really not that much like trees or brush there's just these little trees that are just everywhere that you can easily run over but we just want to cut everything out of the way and the rest once we drive it over a few times with this it'll just make a nice little path i already see like a nice little rock dude. climbing thing that we can go up there and then there's another level of rock they just keep getting bigger and funner honestly dude, exactly dude. yeah this is a super epic course well it's going to be a super epic course once we get done with it but that's going to be something in the works but i guess as of right now let's uh, head up the mountain head back up the mountain let's, and let's head back up the mountain show you guys what we did with that siding yesterday oh yeah let's do it Man, that was a blast going up the hill like that, yeah, dude. Yeah, super fun. Definitely going to make a whole entire, like, a skew of trails all around this property, dude, dude. We got, like, so much property that way as well. Like, around the house, we can easily, like, start it from right there, go all the way down, make a little speed section where you can go as fast as you want you know what i mean a little track dude oh, that'd yeah, be dude. awesome that'd but anyways be onto the house here we just got the rear end knocked out right yeah we just went ahead and ripped everything off right here that way we can just get a look at it you know see what we're going to be working with and i mean honestly uh, we already you know we know our supplies we're just gonna have to call it in or we already called it in right we're just gonna be coming in here real we soon we just gotta right? either go pick it up or get it delivered we'll probably just two. end up picking it up because you know they're super busy and every time you go there they just load you up super quick dude yeah exactly yeah so we're we're on the we're on the move we want to get this stuff knocked out pretty quick and the only reason that we didn't get to that other side over there is because we kind of got to have our skid steer to lift up and oh, do the yeah. rest of the work i'm wondering if we're gonna have to set up like some scaffoldings or something for when we're going to be doing all the all the what's uh, installing hardy. yeah all the installing hardy i don't know dude can you do you rent scaffoldings or stuff like that i think you can rent them but i guess we're just going to do some more research on that you know what as soon as we get all the materials we'll probably start at the bottom and go as high as we can <laughs> dude i can't wait to just get this back end knocked out but we're also waiting on our two little windows that are go around our door right there so we don't really want to start installing this hardy because we're going to have to cut out do some more framing we, we can that. start we can start from the bottom yeah. and work our way up but the only side that we could completely knock out is that side over there that which way, yeah. we may even start just on that side once we get it cleaned up because it'll be idea. the easiest side too because this side has the porch and the deck and stuff like exactly, that exactly but yeah we got some huge plans but pretty much i guess that's just going to be a wrap for today until we get our supplies oh yeah but guys that is pretty much going to be a wrap for today's video we got some awesome plans coming up here real soon so make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything and also if you want to inside scoop before youtube definitely give us a follow on instagram at goon squad but with all that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below we'll catch you guys next time peace